that's the one that people stop you in the street for, King Robert Brown. Yes, yeah, and it's true. I mean, when when we last met, we were we were shooting a pilot for a, a series that could potentially go. We don't know. Nobody knew the books over here. Anyway, it was very uh, uh, limited kind of uh, fan base. Yeah. And you couldn't have expected it to do the crazy thing. Well, you said, I think, at the time, you said you were shooting the pilot and looked at it and said, this is going to be so expensive. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Do they know how much this will cost? <laughs> but, they, you know, they took a gamble. HBO took a gamble and said, you know, we can, we can create this fantasy world. Yeah. Uh, and they did a great job well, of it. Well, I'm one of its absolute biggest fans. And... Uh, and, I, and uh, you actually started very early on, because it was in that first series. It must have been one of the first times that it was a trait that would carry on and still continues now, that a major character is killed. Yeah. The, um, I knew from, from the book, I knew that Robert wasn't there for long, but uh, it was great to get your teeth into a, a part that's so well-written and so mm -hmm. meaty, and, and the books give you all the information as to why he is the way he is. Yeah. And, and are, you, are you glad that you were in it sort of right from the beginning, early doors, and that your character was in, you know, made his mark and then died? Uh, well, it's a shame he died, from my perspective, but, but without the, the throne being free, the game can't really commence. So it's, it's one of those things. But uh, from our perspective, it's actually... I mean, I feel sorry for the guys that are going into the show now because there's huge expectations. Yeah. yeah, that's true. For us, there was none, really. You were, you were just trying to create a world. And a, but there's talk of a prequel, isn't there? To sort of his character before. Well, yeah, I've thought about that. If they go back to when Robert was a young, strong, fearsome warrior, they're probably not going to want me. But uh, <laughs> I'll have to have a word with the uh, health and fitness expert later. <laughs> Come up with something. <laughs> well, in the meantime, you have other things to occupy your mind and your and your work. And uh, and Jericho has uh, has started. This is also something that's new and different because it's a it's sort of a western. It kind of is. It has a western feel to it because it's a it's a, a frontier town. This is in the in the in Yorkshire mm -hmm. uh, around the building of a of a railway viaduct. Um, so it's a. It, it, it is a kind of a, it has a western feel because it's a lawless place and it's uh... and those sort of places did exist because because you mentioned the uh, the construction this is the Calverdale railway viaduct which is based on their take on the on the the, the Ribblehead viaduct that's right and yeah. whilst that was being built there were towns that did spring there were up. towns that sprung up. a lot of people died in the making of uh, uh, you know these huge kind of uh, the, the industrial revolution mm. created uh, you know it, it was it was a hugely successful Very little progressive healthy. Safety there. Absolutely, yeah, no, health absolutely. and safety was a different. Well, world. the story, the story so far is that there's Annie who she's lost her husband and she's got two children and um, her husband's left her in an incredible amount of debt. So she's gone on the run and she's arrived at this town, and one of her sons has seen somebody tampering with the gunpowder, and which has caused this explosion and people have died, um, and the person who's done that saw her son see what happened. So that's obviously put him in a desperate situation. Mm -hmm. He's then murdered that person to save his own life. And Annie has got together and they've buried the guy, thinking, well, that's it, we can forget about that now, until you come in right at the end of the last episode. And your job is to do what? Well, he's uh, Bamford, who's a, a railway detective, uh, who's brought in by Blackwood, the owner, to, to investigate the murder. He's an ex-Navi himself who's kind of gone to the dark side. He's discovered that there's more money to be made mm. grassing up the people that aren't doing the job properly than there is... So he's a popular kind of guy, then? He's an opportunist. <laughs> um, he's he's well-dressed. He's got money. And he's going to get to the bottom of it. Well, he's staying with Annie, of course, who... He's that, staying going to make it difficult for her. She's covering up the secret. It's a little bit tricky, yeah. I love mm. that, that sort of Western feel. It's got the hats, got the saloons, got the prostitutes, got the gunpowder, and it's got... But and you didn't you have didn't... to fly halfway around the world to make it. No, that's true. That's and so true. you're really proud, cos you've got to show Yorkshire off. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, Yorkshire's a beautiful county. It's my... It's my... It's where I'm from. It's... Uh, I love it. And it's great to, to see it in a different light. You know, we, we've seen some of the, the... Some of the industrial grim cities that that, that are there, that are uh, maybe no longer as industrial as they were. Mm. But it's nice to see some of the beautiful countryside and, uh, you know, creating a, a show that's... It's a period drama, but it's 
a little bit out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's a different There's sort. a little bit of the big house there. Yeah. Um, but it's more about this shanty town and the community that sprung up around uh, Well, it's... Uh, it, the second episode of Jericho is tonight at 9 on ITV, and obviously the first episode, if you want to catch up with that, is, uh, is on the ITV hub. Um, what are you going to do for your birthday? Happy birthday. Yes, Thank happy you very birthday. Much. Are you doing anything <laughs> nice? Uh, um, I hope so, yeah. I'll be heading back up home uh, tonight, but... Uh, but, yeah, no, I'm getting old. That's why no more topless work, I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing those clips. Sorry to disappoint so many oh. people. But that's it now, really. It's, I'm, just, I'm just a sex object. I've, I've got to stop. Yeah, but listen, deal with it. What can you do? <laughs> you know, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> it's lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, really Thank lovely to see you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.